much, and I still follow you much in this direction towards you. And I just, I just had my fingers somewhere here. We never broke the clavicle, so don't worry about it. But it does matter, and that's what you do, um, because there is. You might want to show it. Can you stand there, and then I just explain. So you want, when you're doing the Frank nudge, you actually want to be out on the lateral part. You're accessing a muscle called the subclavius. It's the only part of the subclavius muscle that's accessible along the clavicle. And when you push on that, look at Betty Ann's chin. Yep, so she can get that little chin bob in there. In an upright breach, when the baby's head is stuck into extension and we want to bring the baby's head into flexion, you're going to place your fingers under the clavicle, near the shoulder, in the hollow, and press straight back with your fingers toward the mother's pubic bone. This helps the muscles to tighten in the front of the body and bring the head into flexion, at the same time removing the nerve signal from the back of the body so it's easier for the baby's head to move into flexion. Press right in this space here. You are touching a certain group of muscles and helping to stimulate contraction in connected muscles. Those muscles are the anterior deltoid, which come onto the front of the clavicle down into the arm. You're activating the subclavius, which lies under the collarbone and peaks out right in that corner where your fingers are resting. You also are going to stimulate contraction of the sternocleidomastoid, which runs down the front of the neck, attaches to the sternum, the clavicle, and behind the ear at the manubrium of the skull. There is a large fascia-like muscle called the platysma that acts like a sheet over the top of all of these muscles that help bring the head into flexion when you apply pressure in the corner. The nerve mechanism originates from the cervical spine. Those nerves come down and form a bundle that run underneath the clavicle peek out in that hollow corner and run out into the arms. By stimulating this bundle, known as the brachial plexus, at the point where you are applying pressure, you're stimulating contraction in all of those muscles, pulling the nerve signal into the front of the body to stimulate flexion in the head and release the nerve signal from the back of the baby's body. This is known as the antagonist and agonist reaction when you are working with soft tissue and muscles. My name is Adrian Caldwell. I'm a massage therapist and body worker in Minnesota, and I study breech birth. <laughs>